WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 m update. And again, we start our day with a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. You got the Dow off 68 points, three tenths percent. Semis down one and seven tenths, one and six tenths percent, 91 points there. Three tenths for the NASDAQ composite. That's a 51 point move. The other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. Dow's up 405. S&P's up 16. You've got the Russell that's up 19. That's a 1% move there. Tranny's up 1.5%, 236 bucks. Gold's trading up $12 at 2343. Silver's up three pennies. Light sweet crude is up 30 cents. Natural gas is up in nickel. The 30 year treasury is basically flat. Print out 119.21. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES Mini. The ES Mini has a TD9 count top with price consolidating with inside its profile. Now, We've got two different sets of profiles. Um, sometimes that happens. This one here still price. Not, this this has a bottom profile level at fifty five twelve. My other system has fifty four ninety three. So here's the uh, if you were to see a close below fifty five twelve, know that there is support at fifty four ninety three. If we take a look at the spot volatilix, it is trading just above its fifty day exponential moving average by one penny. The 50 days at 1333. Uh, right now we're at 1334. So watch that 1333 level. Price closes above it. It starts to provide sellers with the edge. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ is trading below the profiles generated by, and it's got a T9 count top, is generated by my eSignal system. By my Ninja Trader system, same data, has profile support at 19802. So 19802, 19802. Even Steven is the key level for you to watch and observe. If price closes below that, then we could see it move all the way back to 18.941. It's TD9 count breakout level. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, it's trading right now into its sell zone of its weekly profile. That's between the range of 105.22, 106.01. Earlier in the day, it was attempting to form a new profile, but that has since vanished. In the case of Goldilocks, trading into a descending trend line, trading with inside its profile. It is a buy zone between 23.14 and 23.14. 334 and resistance up at the 2386 level. Silver still trade above a profile resistance, likely to move higher. TD9 count top inside of Light Sweet Crude. It's attempting to form a new profile. The support in this profile is down at 7957. Resistance up at the 81 uh, 8179 level. And you can see natural gas, it's consolidated with inside its daily profile. May have bottomed today, didn't get all the way down to 276, but got down pretty close. Got down to a low of 2.78. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. We drop to start your Monday. Have a magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.